Hello everybody. In this video I am going to use the TI-84 calculator to figure out the vertex of any given parabola. So first, what is the vertex of a parabola? On the left hand side I have a parabola that is graphed that's been graphed and this right here is the vertex. In this parabola the vertex is at the lowest point and it's called the minimum. The vertex of a parabola is the point where the parabola crosses its axis of symmetry. And the axis of symmetry is right here, through the center of the parabola. If the coefficient, which is the number before the x squared, of x squared term, is positive, that means the vertex, the vertex will be at the lowest point and that parabola will be actually facing up like this and I say that if it is has a positive coefficient it looks like a happy face smiling All right it's facing up so that means the vertex will always be at the lowest point which is called the minimum if the coefficient of the x squared is term is negative in other words if you have a negative 2x squared this parabola will be facing down and that's a sad face negative for negative the vertex will be at the highest point at that point and the top of that u shape will open that u shape will open downward all right and we're going to see that in the upcoming slides so the characteristics of quadratic functions as you can see here on this screen the most basic quadratic function they call it the parent function is y equals x squared. The lowest and highest point of the parabola is called the vertex and in this case it is a minimum it's the lowest point. This is the, re the reason why this is at the lowest point is because this parabola is facing up. Looks like a happy face so that coefficient before that x squared is positive. This right here is the axis of symmetry it goes through the center of that parabola and this right here is the vertex right here so steps for finding the vertex on the TI-84 calculator and these are the steps we'll go through them press Y equals input the quadratic equation press graph and then you'll see the actual parabola press second function then calc then either minimum or maximum you'll see that in the list calc will say left bound move left to the x-axis and press enter then it says right bound move right and of the vertex and press enter and then it'll say guess I usually like to kind of put it exactly where I think that the vertex is and um, then press enter for the final time you'll get that lowest or highest point. So in this screen you'll see that the vertex in this one right here this is now this is a positive coefficient before the x squared. You notice that parabola is facing up and the vertex is at the minimum all the way on the at the lowest point of that parabola. On the right hand side over here this parabola is facing down. That means you would have like a y equals negative 3x squared and it would face down. So that vertex would be at the top of the parabola and that is known as a maximum. So we have find the vertex of the parabola on the on, graphically. Okay, so we have number one, x squared is our first one, x squared plus 3x minus 4 equals 0. Definitely get your graphing calculator out. We are going to find the vertex on the TI-84 plus CE. So the first thing that you do, like we said on that, when I, like I gave you on that list, is clear out, first thing is clear out anything else that you might have graphed before. Then input x squared, and you could do this with me, plus 3x minus 4. Then press graph, and you will see 
a parabola. So now to get the vertex, obviously the vertex is right about here. It's at the lowest point, and that's a minimum. So you can press second function and trace at this point. If you press second function and trace, you'll see the calculate screen come up. And this is where we did, if you watch the other video, this is where we picked for the zeros, figuring out the roots of the parabola. But now we're not doing that. Since this is a parabola that is facing up, opening up, we are going to take and press that 3 for minimum. Because that's where the vertex is going to be. It's going to be at the lowest point of this parabola. So it says left bound. So we're going to press left. We're going to move that cursor all the way left to where you think left of the vertex is. The vertex should be here. Left of that is right here. So press enter. Then it says right bound. So you're going to press the right button on the calculator to move that cursor over to the right of where you think the vertex is. Now it says guess and I like to, you don't have to, but I like to move the cursor exactly where I think it should be um, for the vertex and I press enter and you notice that my minimum is negative 1.499999 and I'm going to round that off to negative 1.5 comma negative 6.25. So if you realize that the vertex is negative 1.5, you could check it out on the calculator. You can go right to the left, negative 1.5, and down 6.25. That's exactly where it is. Um, you could also check the table of values um, uh, by pressing second function table. But I just wanted to kind of beyond the vertex the axis of symmetry is right here in that in like splitting that vertex in two so obviously it's right where the x value is and that axis of symmetry is x equals negative 1.5 you see how it matches up with the uh the x value of the vertex and that's basically it for that question so for question number two, we have a different type of parabola and quadratic function in front of us. We have negative 3x squared plus 3x plus 6 equals 0. Again, clear out everything on your calculator. And when you go ahead and input negative 3x squared, remember, press this negative button because uh, it, the minus sign is not the same thing plus 3x plus 6 and then press graph so now you notice that this coefficient remember we told you the coefficient is negative that parabola will be facing down and I think of it as a sad face and a sad face faces down right so we have negative 3x but we still have to find that vertex we're going to find that vertex the same way we did number one. But in this case, since it's facing down, this is the highest point of the parabola. And at that highest point, we're saying that the vertex is going to be at the maximum. It's located at the maximum highest point of that parabola. So we just follow the same second function and then trace, which will bring you to the calculate screen. And instead of pressing minimum, you're going to press 4 for maximum. And we're going to press 4. So you notice, again, it says left bound. We're going to, I'm just going to keep it there because that is left bound. And then right bound. And I'm going to move it right to where I think the uh, vertex is. And I'm going to press enter. Then it says guess. And again, I'm just going to move it to where I'm guessing that I think that vertex is and I get x equals 0 0.49999 which is a half x equals 0.5 and then y equals 6.75 so taking a look at this and checking it out I have 
a 0.5 to 0.5 to the right and 6.75 almost 7 up on that coordinate grid on the graph and that is my vertex and just like I said before the axis of symmetry is x equals 0.5 it goes straight through the center of the parabola okay the final vertex that we are going to find right now um, is number three x squared plus eight equals zero again get your graphing calculator and remember clear everything out I am going to graph x squared plus eight and then obviously press graph I have a little bit of the parabola showing but you know what at this case you really don't need to, sh to see any more I could tell that this is a parabola that is facing up and pointing up because this first off the coefficient of the the number before x squared is positive so all I have to do is find the vertex so I press second function and trace which will bring you to the calculate screen then since this is a parabola that is facing up pointing up that means the vertex will be at a minimum at the lowest point of that parabola so I'm gonna press 3 right now I'm gonna have left bound I'm gonna move that using the left co the left button I'm moving that cursor over to the left of where I think that vertex is then I'm gonna move that cursor over to the right of where I think that vertex is when it says guess I'm just gonna move it right there and that's my minimum that's my vertex so the vertex is X equals 0 y equals 8 and my vertex 0 comma 8 and my axis of symmetry is 0 and that's it hope you enjoyed the video hope it helped you out see you next time